the Pulsar AS200 was kind of a surprise from Bajaj. It came along as a semi-fared version of the NS and was curiously priced the same. Akshay joins us today having bought the bike right after its launch in 2015. It's his machine for the daily commute as well as for occasional touring. Hi Akshay, it's nice to have you here. How are you? All good, sorry. Thanks so much. Uh, I'm happy to be here and share my experiences about my bike. Well, there are many variants of Pulsar and many brands in the same segment. What made you choose the AS200 and how has your experience been so far? Well, Swati, uh, the choice was very easy for me because I owned the NS200 in the past and uh, when I was in the market for a new bike, it definitely had to be the AS. The only other alternative was the RS, which I didn't like because I felt it was overstyled. But uh, yeah, this bike's been great. I mean, uh, it's done everything for me, commuting to office on the weekdays, taking me out on tours on the weekends. So I've ridden about 14,500 kilometers in the last one and a half years. And it's been a good experience so far, very reliable. I've not had any, uh, you know, untoward issues. It's been great. Well, how has your experience been in terms of performance and handling of this bike? Well, Swati, the bike has a great engine. Um, it's pretty smooth, uh, you know, compared to the old pulses as well. Like I said, I had the NS before and, uh, you know, they've rectified a lot of the uh, vibrations and all that that way, you know, an issue on that bike. Uh, very smooth. Um, I, when I cruise on the highway, I'm doing usually about 100, 110 kilometers an hour. And that comes up at about 7,000 RPM, 100. And uh, very smooth. Um, there's a slight tingle in the handlebars, but nothing that you can really complain about, especially when you have your gloves on. Um, handling is great. It has a very similar frame to the R15 if you've noticed. Mm -hmm. And uh, funnily enough, it's a sports bike frame, although it's an adventure tourer. So it's great in the corners, very stable on the highway. Um, the suspension is a little stiff. You can feel it on the really hard uh, potholes. Mm -hmm. But uh, once you're at a higher speed, generally it tends to soak up bumps much better. So great stuff on the highway. So on this bike, uh, even though it doesn't have steel braided lines or anything fancy, the braking is pretty sharp. It's very progressive. Uh, very easy to modulate, so it's it saved me on many occasions. I've managed to stop, uh, you know, literally within a few feet. And uh, the tires are okay. I mean, uh, people have a lot of hate for the Euro grips uh, that are there on this bike, but I think they're pretty decent tires. They're just very hard compound, so they're designed to last longer rather than provide, uh, you know, maximum grip. So tires are fine, except in emergency situations when you suddenly have to brake, you will find that the tire would, uh, you know, uh, give lose traction. The mileage that this bike returns me also is pretty standard. It gives me about 30 to 32 kilometers per litre when I'm cruising on the highway. And that's again, you know, 100, 110. Uh, whereas the city, it tends to give me a little more because I think the RPMs are a lot uh, lower. So it gives me about 35, 36, depending on the traffic in Bangalore. Well, let's talk about maintenance now. Uh, what are the running and service costs and are the parts easily available? So one of the main reasons I bought this bike is I knew that it would be pretty easy on the maintenance front. It's a Bajaj, so you get parts everywhere. The parts are pretty cheap. And uh, so far, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm lucky or not, but I've not had to change too many parts on this bike. Uh, the only thing I've changed is the rear brake pads, which I did on my last service. Um, the service interval is once every 5,000 kilometers. But uh, if you're using the stock Bajaj DTSI oil, then you definitely need to change it every 2,000 kilometers. You'll definitely feel the roughness in your gear shifts and in the engine. So I recently switched to synthetic oil and uh, the paid service that I did the car came up to about 2,500 rupees. Mm -hmm. Now synthetic oil is a lot more expensive than the regular oil. It's definitely worth it though. So the oil itself comes to about 1,100 rupees for about 1.2 liters of synthetic oil. Um, you do get three free, uh, free services when you buy the bike. And um, during the free service, you just don't pay for labor. So your service still comes up to about 1,300, 1,500 rupees. Well, finally, do you suggest any changes or modifications to make the ownership experience better? Uh, so Swati, when it comes to this bike, uh, you know, especially if you're looking for information online, uh, you find a lot of people complaining about, you know, many issues, whether it's vibration or, you know, the fueling or, you know, the bike being very rough or not having enough power. Uh, with this bike, I've come to realize that there, there are about two or three main things that you need to look after. Uh, first thing is the carb tuning. So, uh, if you get the tuning done through a CO machine, there's a specific reading that uh, the engine should show. 
So when you get that done, you'll immediately find a you know big difference in the way the engine you know responds to your throttle input and the smoothness. Uh, second thing is definitely the engine oil. I wouldn't recommend you stick to the Bajaj oil uh, that the company specifies. Have switched to Motul, uh, the fully synthetic one, and that makes a big difference as well. Um, in terms of modifications, I mean the oil has been the main thing that I've done to the bike, but uh, I don't think it really requires too much because the headlights are great. Um, I'm, I'm planning to possibly you know increase the wattage of the bulb to maybe a 100 watt bulb. I'm not sure if the projector supports it, but I will definitely try. And uh, definitely better tires as well. Uh, I've heard from a lot of people uh, when they switch to better tires that the ride comfort also goes up mm -hmm. because this bike as it is a little stiff. Maybe the tires are pretty hard as well. Maybe that's why. But I've heard it becomes a lot more comfortable as well. So I think that's about it. That sums up uh, the bike. I mean, you need to maintain the chain. You need to keep an eye on the engine tuning, and that's about it. It runs beautifully. Well, Akshay, it's been great to have you here. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Swati. It's been a pleasure meeting you guys this morning and uh, telling you about my bike. So, thanks so much. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, that's what the Pulsar AS200 is all about. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your comments below. See you in the next video.